Thank you very much, everyone. More especially as the devil tried to stop me from coming today in this church. I'm so happy that I met you here. I could have had a faith, but God did not allow it to happen. I would like to sing a song if I could know my testimony. Can you join? You can join me whenever you want to. I will enter his gate with thanksgiving in my hands. I will enter his throne with praise. I will say. testimony that today I thank Bishop Ita who says I can use as long as one hour so bear with me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, as you see me standing here, I'm a miracle of God's living testimony. God's living testimony. My young man sitting there was just a baby when my sickness started. He had never seen me walking along the way, so I'm happy that he is here. Um, as a teenager, I had a vision of being an important person in society. I was intelligent, I thank God for that, that the devil would not allow me to continue with my dreams. So when I was in the fourth form, uh, I suffered a neurological problem that rendered me bedridden. First of all, for five years, the doctors tried in Cameroon to see how they could help me. But not being able to diagnose the illness, there was nothing they could do. I suffered from shakes. They call it shakes because they didn't have a way for it. Um, I was just nervous all the time. I would have seizures. I was always dizzy. And I was bound to be in the house. As a teenager, your friends are going ahead. They are in colleges. They are in schools. They are having dreams. But you are being tortured with an illness that had no diagnosis. My parents looked at this. Mm, wow. While some people had given up, thinking that I was going to die, they decided that they could still fly me to the United Kingdom. Well, I went to the United Kingdom. I was there, but the diagnosis was impossible. Oh, but just the change of the environment helped me a little bit. And I went to college. Graduated, had a bachelor's degree in accounting. I was like, oh, thank you. At that time, I didn't know the Lord as I know him now. But the devil was behind me. I was like, girl, you think you've done anything? The second step of that illness was worse than the first time. I was bedridden it again. I still started having seizures, dizziness. And on top of that, I had to suffer with asthma. Now, I had to be in Cameroon. The doctors gave up. Then one day, somebody spoke about the healing power of that. I was like, oh, some people prayed for me before. I did not get healed. Uh, I know the Lord had a better plan for me. I did not even believe about the healing power of our Lord in this our present day. I thought that the stories in the Bible were just stories. But now I do understand that that same God yesterday is the same God today 
and it's the same God, it's the same God tomorrow. We are started. Thank God for Bishop Etta. Uh, I, I had not known him before, but he kept coming to the house. He was so consistent and persistent. And I was like, why are you showing too much interest in my illness? It's me who is being sick, and not you. So because of that concern, I was like, okay, since he says he wants to pray, I've already given up. Why not try it anyway? Sometimes I'll pretend, I'm like, I don't want to go. I can't walk. Yes, I couldn't walk around. Yes, Bishop always had something. I said, oh, there's a taxi in front of the house. He'll come with a taxi right in front of the house. And there was one of my friends who was like, just coming there because my father was playing a lottery. They call it in Cameroon, TSC. TSC. <laughs> and Bishop would take the two of us because he had to hold my hands so that I shouldn't fall. Don't pray for me. I was it in Moliko, right? Mm -hmm. And more to my surprise, even the asthma that I had, I knew that was a physical ailment from, it was not supernatural. And I told the Lord will only heal supernatural illnesses. The asthma disappeared. Amen. Seizures disappeared. Amen. Dizziness disappeared. Amen. I was afraid to walk outside because I'd spent so many years, 10 years in bed, Jesus. in the house. Not going out, not seeing the outside world. I thought that I will never more see the sunshine again in my life. But the Lord God intervened in a way. Thank God for those who pray. Thank God for Bishop. Thank God for Esther. Thank God for all the people who pray for me and those who did not give up. Now coming to America. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That's a different story. Did I want to come? afraid to fly because I still have the um, psychological feeling like I've been in the house for a long time but the Lord had a better plan for me coming to America he made me to be very very independent Amen. and then just to think that this same bishop who prayed for me in Cameroon <clears throat> is with me here in America and inside his own church that God is using him to preach. It's just a blessing to me. It's just a blessing. I just want to thank God, thank all those who were praying for me and your patience for waiting for me. Because I believe it's because of me that the service is still here now. I just want to thank you. I say one or two people or so many people or your kids, your family members may have problems where doctors have given up Friends have given up, they say, oh, there's no way you can ever get well. But I'm telling you one thing, that if the Lord could do it for me, oh. uh, he can do it for you. Yes. Be it a physical, emotional, psychological, any type of problem, mm. our God is a very good God. Amen. Thank you ever so much for this opportunity. I mean, I just want to thank the Lord. You know, I just pray that he used me as an instrument for his word. Amen. Because I have a lot to share. Amen. So that whether it's hatred, I'll be able to plant love. Amen. Whether it's confusion, Amen. peace. Amen. Whether it's despair, hope. Yes. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, let me go. For how many years were you saved? Um, I think it's a total... Because I used to have some breaks, but I know when I returned to Cameroon again, it was 10 years that I had to stay in the house. But before then, I had been sick for five years before going to the United Kingdom. Just yes, imagine, I remember the day I saw him, I saw her, sorry. She was in the room, lying on the bed. I mean, on the bed for 10 years. I just start imagine being on the bed. You cannot even sit up in the parlor, living with people, 10 years. I remember the day I went with her to Benin. Um, we came to USC in 2002. And I invited her, we went to, we went to Texas. Yes. Amen. And we were worshiping her together. Amen. Amen. And to see her, who was buried in, now employed yes. in John Hobson Hospital. Yes. Amen. Amen. Serving, walking daily by day, 